What's going on folks? You ever had problems with your vehicle to where it keeps the idling high and then the idling low? As well as sometimes like when you put a load on it, like if you're driving it going uphill or something, it wants to actually stall out and cut off. A lot of times the issue could be is your idle air control valve is bad or either dirty. This right here is your idle air control valve that's on this Chevy Impala. If you can see pretty much it's right located right above your throttle body pretty much on your vehicle and what happens is when this thing gets dirty or bad this controls basically the airflow that goes into your system it tells it how much air to send when to stop some of the air from coming in so when this goes bad it'll give you idle issues and normally to change these things out it's a pretty simple job if you can see on this one this happens to be a Chevy Impala vehicle but you pretty much have the I people abbreviated with I A C, which is idle air control valve. They don't cost a lot, maybe around 20, 15 to 20 dollars pretty much for most vehicles. But on this one, all you have to do is pretty much unplug. See, I have these little wires unplugged. Unplug the power that goes to it. Then on this one, you have two little screws that go in here. One right here and one on the other side. These happen to be uh, torque bit screws. I believe for the Chevy Impala, it's a five and 32 millimeter small pretty much that you may need to take this one out but it's a pretty simple job all you got to do is just basically remove this screw remove this screw and unplug it from right here and you should be able to get this out sometimes it's a little complicated to get this screw over here so you may want to go ahead and remove this bracket right here by taking these screws out and then you should be able to easily take this screw out right there as well as get this screw out and this whole idle air control valve will come off and you can replace it all right folks once again if you're having an issue with your car to where it's idling high or idling low or it goes both or sometimes it's high sometimes it's low the issue could be is that your idler air control valve could be bad pretty much which is what this is right here so if you look on your vehicle and you look around your throttle body which is what this is right here normally you'll see something that looks like this. I'm gonna show you what it looks like also, like out the vehicle, so you have an idea what you're looking for. All right, folks, please check out our other helpful videos. Please like, subscribe, and share. Thanks.